Hello and welcome back to the Sprightly Park or better put the Financial Crisis Park because um, yeah we got like a freaking crazy mortgage on our park more or less yeah 255,000 game euro bucks I mean in my country you could buy a house for that in this country you buy a freaking theme park Man, maybe I should move over. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to bring your attention to this situation here. Now, you might think uh, this is a train, <laughs> but it's not. These are all loose cars stacked up here because for some reason it doesn't work how it's supposed to. And uh, I'm really not liking it, especially because that means that this coaster won't make us much money. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I mean, this is horrific figures, really. So, um, I've been, you know, like thinking about this just before I started recording, and I think I got a solution as well. But uh, before we go to that, I think we should do a quick pricing check, because it's like October in the first year, and, um, well, we've cranked up all the prices, so we might want to check whether or not the peeps still like them. So let's uh, adjust the view for this, and let's see. Alrighty, so the Merculator, huh? Yeah, I have a suspicion that this one needs a pricing adjustment. Just a mild suspicion, really. <laughs> I mean, uh, zero guests going on it. I think that's enough of a suspicion. And then, well, this coaster is working. This is freshly built. Um, how is the... Yeah, train tour is also doing all right. So, rowing attraction? Oh, <laughs> I see peeps on the canoes, so that speaks for itself, really. And uh, lost... Yeah, that seems to be attracting dudes too. Yeah, we did crank it up to 16, so uh, this is all fine. Uh, this cycle thing though isn't. Well, <laughs> that doesn't come as a surprise, of course. Yeah, look at that. So it's 2.8. We are overcharging. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it only made us 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah, so we are overcharging this way, way, way too much. We need to lower this by like one buck. And then the other one, of course, as well. Uh, I mean two one buck, not buy one buck. I mean, four bucks would still be way too much. But this should do, should get some peeps on it. Now, the new old scary building also seems to have lost its magic. Yeah. The one and a half grand isn't shabby or anything, so let's see. Why have we chosen like... Um, one book for it. That should more or less make it popular again. Popular among the people. Now this is really shit. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we need to... 50 cents is like 60 too much. So... <laughs> um, then, the other ride. Yeah, same for the carousel really. Wow, we've been making a profit with this park <laughs> while we had no peeps going on any of these rides. Wow. And that's uh, quite amazing. That says a lot about the coaster and its profitability, really. Yeah, look at that. 15 freaking grands an hour. <laughs> oh, man. 15 grands an hour. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so this coaster, really, the, this one that you're seeing over here is really just carrying this whole park, you know, financially speaking. And right now, it's our only main source of income. So we might want to get, like, another one. And in fact... Um, you know, after that we fix this, uh, you know what, let's do that first. Let's take a look at the development of stuff. Well, <laughs> speaking about impeccable timing again, yeah, I had spidey sense, you know, so, uh, yes, yeah, so, wait, wait, but that means that we got only a handful of thrill, what? <laughs> oh man, really? 1500 guests and this is all that we get? Seriously, game? You're not kidding about it? Alright, well. Um, all of a sudden, I'm looking with fresh eyes onto the log fume. Now that we own three... <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's... Well, I mean, are we like 40 years back or something? I mean, these are all classic rides, really, you know? I mean, the scrambler eggs and the ship. I mean, <laughs> boats have been as old as... Well, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but... Uh, 
So, and in terms of coasters, it's not much better either. All we got is wooden coasters, really. <laughs> and uh, we got the majority of them. This is the only one we got left. But, the point I was trying to make is that, um, yeah, we'll need to research some more roller coasters then. Wow, I'm curious. I'm actually suspecting this to be another water ride. You know, maybe like a slide or something. Or <laughs> or a slide. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> a water slide. Yeah, mm, well, anyway, alright, so good to know. Um, then let's fix this here, right? Because, yeah, like I said, I don't really. Uh, wait, hold on a second. I think I forgot this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flow of caramel. I think we can adjust this price as well to 50 cents. So that way we should at least get some more profits from it. Even though it's not much, but, <laughs> well, with our coaster. <laughs> oh man, look at this. <laughs> oh, nice. Right tickets. Freaking three grand. It has been five grand, but, well, October isn't finished, so. Yeah, that's amazing. Alright, so yeah, about this coaster, I've been thinking about it, and really, what I think is that, you know, like, I don't mind this, you know, how we go back to the station, but I think that this part over here is at fault. So, um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna remove it. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's close it. Uh, we're gonna remove, like, um, you know, these pieces over here. All the way back till, and now here it comes, over here. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a lift in here already. So that even if it breaks down or it slows down, the trains won't get stuck on the track really. Because that's you know, what's been bothering me the most about this whole ordeal. Um, Alright, so if we now go down by one and then curve about. And then we will go down. Wait, wait, wait for it. Look, a lift. And now we'll go up. The wait, what? Why don't I have lift over here in game? Is that also... Uh, I do think... Yeah, there's a lift over here though. It's a bit weird why it deselected it. Anyway, um, yeah, now we're gonna go up and this will make it like crash proof. Or, uh, I mean, <laughs> stuck proof really. So, yeah. And now we'll go down a bit more. And, uh, well, actually, we can do like... Uh, yeah, we can have it go like this. And then we'll have it go down another two. And right now we are at the height of the tracks. But look, all of a sudden it's much cooler now, right? Oh yeah. Look, and this should make the coaster. Well, I think in terms of ratings, I don't think we'll lose that much because really we've added a few drops. No, we got well, two more drops over here and an other drop over here, which we didn't have. In the previous situation. So all in all, I think in terms of ratings, uh, oh crap! And now of course they're not going on it. So we need like results, <laughs> like now. So we just sent one car out here you know, to convince guests that the ride's safe. Well, um, all right. So we got that taken care of. Now I've also actually taken a look at this coaster over here because it has a lift in between the, you know, in the track somewhere. Now usually with this. Coaster, I want to have one lift from the station and then no more lifts because of the breakdowns. But I've taken a look at this situation over here. And um, the way it goes really is that, look, this car is going down, look, and now it appears over here. Look, and this car is still on the lift while this one is also on the lift. So if there was to be a breakdown, there is no way it can crash on this section. And uh, that's a bit, you know, that's important. So I don't need to worry about this coaster, you know, not functioning or anything. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> now that we got that cleared up, um, let's build some stuff, right? Because we're not going to get 1,500 guests in this park by just talking about things. Um, so, now, really what I want is uh, coasters, but... <laughs> Man, we just got the go-kart and there's no way I'm gonna pass up on this awesome ride. The only thing though is like, we need to find a nice spot for it. Which is not gonna be over here. But I'm seriously considering over here. Or a bit more over here. And then have it you know, interact a bit with the, uh, with the ride over here. 
as far as that's possible at least. I don't know if we can like go inside this building somewhere, but we'll have to see. Yeah, man. Oh, man. I'm getting ideas all of a sudden. Like, you know, I get like an uh, entry point and things over here, somewhere here. Look. Yeah, I think we got ourselves the spot for the go karts. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna build it over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dizzy, whoa, rotating. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think if we put the station over here, then we're golden. Good, good, good. So let's build this. Come on now, game. Now I want to build this over here. Never build it backwards. I can't go above anything over there. Alright, that's no problem though. We'll make it go above by yeah, reverse engineering. Look like this. It should work. Alright, well we will move the station a bit more forward though. Like over here, pretty much. Yeah, see throw right, water slide. What did I tell you? Man, <laughs> I looked into my tycoon ball and I saw a water ride coming up. Anyway, look at this. We are gonna go inside this freaking building and interfere over here. You know, cause static. <laughs> no, uh, joking aside. Wait. Oh crap, and here the troubles start. Alright, so let's just clear off the view again and see if we can pull this off like... No. Alright, well, great start! <laughs> we only built one curve and already we're running into issues. And this is working! Look! Alright, I know a go-kart doesn't benefit all that much from going underground and whatever, but... Man, <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> uh, Alright, so now, what I also want is to uh, do like another track interference thingy. Um, so let's see over here. Uh, yeah, maybe we can go like down. No. Over here. Yes. Alrighty. And now we'll go up. Okay, so maybe <laughs> maybe that doesn't work. Alright, so well, we won't go down. Oh, balls. Be right back, phone call. Yeah. Okay, and back. Yeah, <laughs> me being professional as ever, not turning off my phone. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we were building the go-karts, huh? Let's continue on with that. And uh, what I want to do with this is see if we can, like, peek ski under... Yeah, inside the mansion over here. Very nice. Alright, so... I think that's about it. We don't really need to do much more with the whole ghost train. But I think that's pretty cool. And we got this back area for the go-karts to so just race around a bit in, you know? And uh, we'll have it do just that. So uh, this is just some generic tracks. But I think that this should add to both the ratings of the go-karts and the ghost train. You know, the whole interweaving, mingling up with uh, tracks that we just did here. So, and I think that these short, uh, you know, episodes, <laughs> well, <laughs> episodes, I mean, but, you know, these short sessions of going underground, I think that that doesn't negatively impact the ratings of the go guys. Or at least it shouldn't, really. Now then, this is, seems to me as a freaking decent go kart track. So, the only question is, though, where are we going to hook this up? Uh, I'm thinking that we're gonna hook it up. Oh, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> there's one tree and I pick that spot. Now, I'm thinking of doing it like this, and then we'll have the path go down here and hook that up over here again. Now, that should be doable. Alright, well, we'll see. Uh, let me take a look ski at this. Uh, we do it like this. Yeah, already I'm going below it, and uh, all I need to do really is drop like one height level more. And now, look, perfect, as if it were made for it. We will also, yeah, the queue shouldn't be that long anyway, so look, this is a perfect size really. And we got ourselves an awesome go-karts now, ladies and gentlemen.
I'm pretty curious to do ratings and regardless of the ratings, oh man, we are so gonna crank up the pricing on this. Six bucks, hell yeah. So, <laughs> who wants to ride on a wet track? Actually, <laughs> that's a surprising amount of guests who want to do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I feel like that they don't want go-karts during the rain. Ah, it must be that good that they don't care. Uh, yellow looks nice. And, um, oh, actually, these black supports, they look surprisingly good for this go-kart. So we're gonna stick with it. And... Um, yeah, how about we are gonna call this um, yeah, the uh, petrol challenge. All right, good. So uh, it's named, it's shamed onto the next thing, and um, that's a good one actually because currently, as it stands, really <laughs> got it all, <laughs> and that's not a lot. Uh, over here, same story, you know, just different things. All we got really is this coaster or any of these water rides. So I think, and I think you know it as well, that we are gonna build one of those. The thing is though that, you know, look at our cash, and uh, well, you know, <laughs> I've added the challenge of trying to repay as much as possible. So I think that we might want to be like, uh, you know, not build this right now, <laughs> because this is gonna be a bit too expensive. But what we can do is build like, well, hmm. they're all like equally expensive. I think that this one will be the most interesting ride to build though. And seeing how we got this massive hill, I think we can make quite an interesting one like over here, you know, on this stretch over here more or less. So yeah, well, <laughs> man, <laughs> I never figured I would build it, but yeah, we are gonna build the Lock Fume worst ride ever. Damn, man, <laughs> I mean, why, why am I doing this again? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, now here's the deal with it. I want to like make one big drop down, preferably go through the coasters a bit. And uh, already I can see that that uh, it might just happen. Alright, so uh, anyway, like I was saying, I want to make like one big drop down and then we're not. Oh, balls. Oh man, this is, uh, is going to be crap. I can't feel already that this is a wrong decision, but I'm gonna go through with it regardless. So maybe I need to like do an S-band to the right. Okay, <laughs> there is a shit wheel there. <laughs> um, okay, so far so not good. So we'll go around this shit wheel uh, to this side and let's see how this goes. Well, so far so not good. There is a balloon thingy. Alright, maybe an S-band will solve it to the left. Alright, can I get my big freaking drop like now then, please, game? Okay, it <laughs> seems that I can't. For some reason, I am not allowed to build a big drop in here. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. Balls, alright, screw it, I'm... I'm having second thoughts about this whole lock film over here. <laughs> We're not gonna build it, simple as that. Look, and all of a sudden we got four grand, so instead of a lock view, I got a much better plan now. And that is that we're gonna build a water slide. Oh man, I'm so liking that idea already. It's gonna be amazing. So, we'll build that. And, um, you know what? Just for. Because we can, and I know that a water slide benefits from it greatly, we are gonna build this underground with the station. So that we can get like the maximum height difference from it. Because uh, as you might have figured, we are gonna go up this hill with the whole lift thingy. So yeah, I'm gonna try and see if we can get like amazing ratings out of this. Alright, so station platform too long, that's good. Let's see where this will get us. You know, if we just go up here and... Um, alright, alright. This looks promising. Uh, I might have wanted to move this a little bit more backwards, but... 
I'm gonna continue. Oh crap, no, never mind. Alright, so it does need to be quite a bit more backwards. Like over here. Now yeah, this should do the trick. Okay, maybe not. Then over here. Okay, also maybe not. Maybe over here. Yeah, this should do the trick though. All right, maybe not. <laughs> um, what's in the what's what's the issue over here though? It's the path, huh? Look, we are gonna fix that issue right now. Uh, in fact, you know what? We'll just because it it might be a bit you know wrong to just remove the path in its entirety. I'm just gonna remap it a little bit. You know, do some terraforming, make it all look nice. I mean, I don't think that that 1500 gas is that. You know, that much of a challenge anyway, so... Okay, so and now it's an issue again all of a sudden, or what? You gotta be shitting me. Really? Game? Really? Yeah, alright, so there's not much I can do about that. Other than, maybe, remove... Oh man... Hmm... Alright, um... So, here's the deal with it. Uh, remove this, remove this, remove this, and I'll just lower, come on, I'll just lower everything one bit more. Now, uh, the things I do for a water slide, <laughs> wow. Uh, I never figured that it would require this much work, really, if anything. Let's change the view, whoa, we got loads of work to do over here. Alright, so we need to lower this by one. Wow, the terrain is all... It's all war zoned up! <laughs> uh, I think damage is touching the terror farming controls again. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, quite obvious by now. Damn, man. The whole thing looks crazy ugly. Not for long, though. Yeah, we'll, we will get, like, complaints uh, rather soon now as well if we don't start hooking things up pretty quickly now so like this huh that should work wait hold on a second game let me come on now game don't s stop annoying me all right so uh, we'll just uh, relocate this balloon store i know it had purple balloons and all so purple like that all right, and we'll open it up. And done. <laughs> Look, nothing ever happened. And we'll continue building the slide. Look. And you got to keep in mind that this comes from height 1. <laughs> so this is quite high for a slide, really. I mean, height 21, that's... Yeah, that's decent. That's really decent. All we need to do is um, see it back to the station at some point. So, let's see here now. We are at height 15, huh? So I think that this should work. It does. I don't think we'll need like, um, you know, covered up tracks for these kind of curves over here at this point in the track, so... We'll do it like this, and then like this, and then we'll go down. And <laughs> I will close off the track for that, <laughs> because... Yeah, you know, skull fractures and all. <laughs> no, but they might fly off if we don't, so. And, uh, I'll remove you, and if I hide this. Alright, let's see here now, because I think that we might be underground at height 1. <laughs> so that's pretty much where the station is, really. But I don't think that I want that. So right now we're at height two. <laughs> let's oh man, <laughs> oh, let's launch the guests. <laughs> no, let's not. But they would. They, I'm pretty sure they'll be launched <laughs> from this bump after such a massive drop. <laughs> well, yeah, that can't be any good, can it? Anyway, um, so here we are, making that drop regardless. And uh, right now, let's cover it up. Until we are at the station height, I will just return to the station. I mean, there's no need to make this crazy expansive or anything, so... 
Look, it's hooked up. Now, I'm curious though, can I still... Yeah, <laughs> alright, I was afraid that that would happen. But I can't put it over here though. So, I guess if I put the exit here, all I need to do is just go up and I'll have it hooked up there. So, nice. We will have this test ride and uh, I'll try and see if I can get this connected to some place somewhere. Let's see here. Wow, alright, so that might not be so difficult actually. <laughs> I thought that the ground level would be quite high up, you know, but it's not really. It's quite close actually. Well, that's actually a pretty decent Q size if anything. Uh, dude, do you mind like walking up the path again? Dude, dude. Alright, <laughs> never mind, <laughs> just as I got him. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's good. Then let's see here. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, boat one. Okay, <laughs> so this was a very interesting test ride. Now, wasn't it? <laughs> Balls. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, let's quickly hook that up. Ah, well, we might have missed the test ride, but. Uh, Alright, what? Three in the way now, huh? Yeah, apparently so. But we should have ratings now, so. Oh, and look, 75 kilometers in a dinghy. Well. To be honest, it is not the most amazing ever rated water ride we've ever been, uh, if I'm honest. And I think it didn't really improve our park all that much either, because we had to do so much path removal and all, so yeah, <laughs> this might have been a little bit of a bad idea, <laughs> if anything. Hmm, crap, alright. Uh, oh no, that's one click too many. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get like an extra dude out there and we'll drop him as well might help and uh, we'll quickly color this and uh, we need to like take a look at some more stuff that we can build so let's see him first of all let's give this a name and um, well how about we are gonna call this um, yeah the spa inspection. Yeah, that sounds uh, water-like. I mean, a spa and all, right? <laughs> I'm sure you get that vague connection. <laughs> so, uh, let's see about the colors. Since it's, you know, it's not like the best thing we've bid uh, over here. We're gonna make it a bit blending, really. As a kind of like, you know, oh, never mind, it's just a slide. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> this is not the color to do that. But this gray should work. And then with these brown supports. Look, I think that right now we are really hiding it from view. Well, <laughs> the fact that it's underground helps a lot with that too, by the way. Um, also, we'll clear up the land over here. Yeah. Look, nothing ever happened. Alright, good. So, then it is time for the next thing and... Wait, what? What? We go... Nice. What? You got to be shitting me. <laughs> I mean... No more roller coasters? No more thrill rides? Really? Game? Really? So... Wow, hmm... All of a sudden, that 1,500 guests seems daunting, to say the least. So, here's the deal, yo. This is not that great a coaster, so we might as well build that now. This is a startup coaster, really, and, uh, well, we're quite well established in the park by now. Um, this is an awesome coaster, but it requires a lot of cash, so this, it's gonna be crucial that we make this one right, really. Anyway, we'll put this to gentle rides, but damn, man. It's a good thing I had my spidey sense going off, <laughs> because otherwise we could have got, like, scenery or whatever uh, other crap they tend to research. But damn, man, that's uh, not good, not good. Um, yeah, that's totally not good. Now, there is one thing, though, I kind of want to see, and that is, how are the ratings on this new and improved coaster, which does not have pileups, as you can see? Uh, well, I think that 
in terms of ratings it's more or less the same so yeah we did no harm to it um, and the go-kart how's that rated yeah look at that that's amazing all right so uh, <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about the go-karts at all ever anymore um, and the finances though how are we doing yeah we're making like more or less six grand so that 400 bucks is like you know <laughs> well it's just a m minor thing now really but yeah this is more or less of an issue so what we need to do is build like yeah we're gonna build this next time when we play more roller coaster tycoon <laughs>